Hi everybody, so in video 1707 we made this thing, it's really simple, it's just a paint can with some plumbing fittings going to this burner head which is made from an old can of beans and we heated that up using a primer stove and of course drove some gas off there. Now this is strongly related to um, the act of making charcoal. When you make charcoal you basically cover the whole thing off and all of that smoke along with particulate matter is just vented to the atmosphere, that's what wood smoke actually is. We captured it and vented it out of here. Now, I put pine in here, so typically that gas is going to be about 17% methane, 38% carbon dioxide, about 20% or so carbon monoxide, about 2% of hydrogen, oddly enough about 2% of oxygen, and about 17% or so of nitrogen, and that's what syngas is when it's made from pine, because obviously what you put in here affects what comes out here. So if we change the contents of this, we'll change what we actually get from it. Now if we put a deciduous wood in there, so something like oak, beech, ash, birch, something like that, what we'll actually get from here is methanol. Because this particular method of doing this is also called dry distillation or destructive distillation. And of course, just as in gasification, it happens at different temperatures. So up to about 110 degrees centigrade or so, what you're getting out here is just water vapour. Once it gets to about three or four hundred uh, degrees centigrade, you start boiling off all the lightweight, volatile, organic compounds, and that includes the methanol. Because remember, plants are living things, and they produce this all by themselves. A plants produce something like three to four times the amount of methanol that we produce industrially. And we make about 20 million uh, tons of methanol per annum. A lot of methanol is actually in plants, as long as it's the right kind of plant, and we can just boil that off using this dry distillation process. Now, like this, we're just venting gas, and of course I deliberately chose pine so that we would get lots of syngas. If we do something else with it, we can get lots of methanol from it. So what we need to do is change that up a little bit so that we capture that liquid. Now, of course, the liquid's hot and it's turned into a gas, which is why it's boiling off. If we capture it and cool it, we can drip it into a container and we'll have our methanol. So we're going to change this slightly into a distillation setup. Now, a distillation setup actually isn't that complicated. Instead of having it come out of this vent pipe here, what we want to do is have it go through a coil. We have it as a coil because it has a chance to cool down. And when it cools down, of course, it turns into a liquid. And it's like any distillation setup. We just exit this through a coil, which is basically a long piece of pipe that we've shortened by coiling it up so we can have a long piece of pipe, and drip it into a container. Now, to make our coil, I've got this. This is microbore. Microbore is sold um, for underfloor heating, actually. And it's bit, you can lay it a bit like you can lay ordinary cable because it's quite flexible. This stuff's 8 millimeters thick. It comes in 8 and 10 millimeters. And the first thing we need to do is bend a coil. So I've got myself a suitable form. It just so happens this is a 75 millimeter diameter piece of plastic pipe. And all I'm going to do is bend my copper around my former. There we go, our distillation coil. Okay, we can take that bit off. And I've put a plumbing fitting on here. <laughs> it makes it really super easy. <laughs> there you go, bolt that bit on and we're ready to go. Now I have to fill that with a deciduous wood, like I said, put a container to collect that, and I'm just gonna let this cool in the air. Obviously it's gonna work better if we put a water jacket around that, or run it through a, pull, uh, a bucket of water or something like that, because it'll help cool it a bit quicker. But that's all we're going to use. Okay, that's a load of oak twigs. Let's put the lid on and get some heat on it. Okay, so now all we have to do is wait. Of course, the gas is giving off here, first of all, like I said, going to be water. And there is going to be some gas and syngas given off there. And we could put a tea piece and then put a burner up there and then leave it to drip out. But we're not going to bother. We've got a good ventilation. I'm going to let the gas escape and we're going to collect whatever we collect in there. There you go. That is a mixture of water and methanol. Of course, these gases will burn and you can redirect them, like I say, and you could redirect them to help with that process. But at the moment, it's distilling happily away. So remember, the first bit that comes off, it's going to be water, and you throw it away. It's 
after it gets to three or four hundred degrees it's going to start being methanol and you can test that easily enough just by dipping in some cotton bud and lighting it if it's water it won't light if it's methanol you'll get that characteristic blue flame so there you go making your own methanol it's actually really quite simple it depends really on which wood you put in setting up a distillation throwing away the first bit of water and then collecting the rest of it and you will be making methanol that you can then put into our heater that'll work just fine but that's it that's all there is to it so it's pretty simple there is another method for making methanol from syngas using a catalyst but this is the direct dry distillation method it's uh, used quite a lot actually and there's an awful lot of information on how to improve it we did a very basic setup just so you could see the setup and what the bits were there are a lot of improvements you could make to it but this basic setup will certainly work anyway I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.